All right, guys. So today I'm working on a Mercedes. Ah, uh, not Mercedes. I'm sorry. Uh, Lexus uh, RX 350. We're doing an alternator today. So I already took out some of the stuff. Uh, fit it straight forward. The clips on the plastic that goes around. You know the plastic here. Those clips. Try this one right here. Just gotta pull them up, and then they will come apart. The the valve cover you pull um all in that i clamp sorry clamp down the hose then you have your intake piping here there's two little hoses on the clips you got it darn ah careful with that hook that hook is a killer all right so you got your reset board right here which has a number 10 on it and then connects to here you take that off you take this hose off you'll hook the battery you clear all that off and then you got two bolts for the radiator you got uh, let me see one right there you'll be able to see when the radiator uh when the fan is on and that one and then on the bottom you got this hose here that hooks to the uh, fan all right so Make sure that you remove that hose and then the fan comes up through here. Uh, you gotta play a little bit with this hose here so the fan would uh, come out. This hose here. Uh, and other than that, you got your alternator. Now your alternator is gonna have three bolts. One here, 14, and on the bottom, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but see where that hole is? That's the other one. Okay, that's another 14. That one is a pain in the neck to get, but with a little patience, you can get it done. And then you have a bracket, which is this bracket here. This bracket goes like that on the alternator. And this bolt here is somewhere around here. This guy. All right, that one is on the block of the engine. If you can see it, there's the hole right there. That's pretty shiny. That one, that one right there, that's what that bolts onto. You take those off, and then the bracket, I took it off when I had the alternator laying on the side with a station right through here. That way I could be able to move the alternator with a little bit easier. Uh, and I can always try not to hit the uh, radiator as much as you can, but I think I should be able to get it out through there in this position that I'm in. I moved the wires out of the way. I move them out of the way. Um, usually they're kind of sitting around here. I'm um, on click on click so I could stand it this way. And then after that I should be able to remove this thing. So keep you posted once I removed it and how I did. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright guys, so uh, from the last position that it was in it didn't come out. But if you put it in this position, the way it is right now, it will come out through here. No problem. Okay, that's how I took it out just now. Probably two seconds after I just told you guys how to take it out. So if you put it in this position, you take it out. You don't need to remove bumper or a radiator clip or none of that stuff. I mean radiator support. You don't need to do any of that. And for the uh, tensioner, I just put my, my tension on strapped it down so it's not going to be moving that way i don't have to remove the tire i don't have to do any other stuff so the point of this is to i try to show you guys the shortcuts on how to get things done with a little bit of patience without having to remove extra stuff so that's how that came out on that position it was lay between the bracket here the cable this point here it will be on this side see so at this point will be on this side of the bracket and then you gently you know try not to hit the radiator you pull it out and now it's the fun part put it in everything back together so let me do that and kind of keep you guys posted on on the process on putting back together which is the same way of removing it so 
All right, keep it posted. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so pretty much I almost got everything back together. We got the uh, alternator back on, the bolt back on, the plug back on, the bracket on the back, the bolt here, the one holding the bracket, the wires underneath here, uh, the two bolts for the fan right here, the cable, we clicked it all back together. And now I just gotta do the reservoir, the uh, hose, and the intake pipe in here, and, and the little rubber piece. And then after that, we should be able to get it started. So let me get that stuff done. And then as soon as we get it started, I'll let you guys know. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So everything is back on. We got this here. We got a reservoir. The bracket. Everything is back on. The power started. So in a little bit, I'm going to check the uh, voltage to see if it's actually charging. So, so yeah, as always. I'm mean, just gonna put the plastic on and that's it. So like always, share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.